And as almost any parent knows, you've got all the main steps towards assembling a family dinner. The prep works off a lot of work, and the cleanup is what gets dreaded a lot of times. Mm -hmm. Even if you're like about to finish off, you kind of look back at the sink, and you're like, oh boy, when's this going to happen? Mm -hmm. So we have some solutions. ISC registered dietitian Rachel Walls here. Sheet pan cooking. Now, this is a good practical way to do this, and I keep telling myself I'm going to do this, and I rarely do this. It's so easy. It only includes one or two uh, dishes, like you said, so we've just got a sheet pan here, and it's a good way to include multiple food groups. So mm -hmm. vegetables are included. Fruits actually can also be a part of a sheet pan meal, and then protein as well. So we talk about some of the vegetables, though. We do have differences, because you talk about some that are dense and some that are not as dense, and it's important to know the distinction here. That's correct, because the density of the vegetables plays into their cooking time. Mm -hmm. So more dense vegetables, like our butternut squash, here, potato, sweet potato, onion, those are going to take longer to cook than softer vegetables like our mushrooms and our bell pepper here. And you can also get these in a more convenience type form. So if you're really short on time, you can get your broccoli and cauliflower already cut up. So that's going to make it really quick and easy for you. But it's also good to remember this because like you see, when you talk about the density, I just, I'll often just throw them all in as one. Mm -hmm. And I need to remember this, especially you get like the peppers and the mushrooms, put those in late, later on Correct. So with the process. Mm -hmm. And then once you see it uh, spread out a little bit more, here's where you can go into it for the actual sheet pan baking of this. Exactly, so it's gonna be a really simple setup. Mm -hmm. um, we're just gonna line our pan with some aluminum foil. I recommend spraying it with a little bit of cooking spray. Yeah. Even though we have some oil, it's only about a tablespoon, so they still have a tendency to stick. Um, once you've got that, the vegetables cut up, you can add them onto the oil, or excuse me, onto the aluminum foil. We're going to add a little bit of oil, so we've just got a tablespoon. Some assembly required on my part. Just Happy a to do tiny this. bit. Okay. Um, you can use whatever oil you have on hand, so canola oil, olive oil, even coconut oil that's become more popular. So if you want to give that drizzle a around. drizzle yeah. there, yeah. great. And then you can also use some seasonings on it. So dried seasonings are great, whatever you can find in your cupboard. Um, oregano, thyme, rosemary, uh, Italian seasoning is what we're using today in there with a little bit of salt and pepper. In the summertime, if you have some fresh herbs in your garden, this is a great time to use them. So basil or rosemary um, would be a nice addition to this as well. And so, and we can also see the end product for Correct. once this all comes out. And this is truly restaurant quality, as, as all of your offerings are. Very, it's very easy. So we're just going to pop this in the oven at 425. Um, check it every 15 minutes. Yep. You want to flip the vegetables, make sure that they are um, cooked evenly. And then yes, this is the finished product. We also have some fish there on the side. Mm -hmm. And then if you want more recipes, our Spend Smart, Eat Smart website has some great tips and videos as well on how to uh, do these recipes. And as you get to the last few bites, you won't be looking back over at the sink and dreading the mountain, which is not a molehill anymore, but a mountain of dishes that can also be ahead. So great tips all the way around. So good seeing you. We'll see you next month.